If you guys ever want to narrate my life, the number one requirement is that you have to play a guitar. No exceptions. Cheek Lay. Welcome to Cheek Lay Chat. It's your boy Cheek Lay, and we are back at it again with another Broadway review video. So last time we did a Broadway review video, we saw the Share Show, and now we're going off Broadway to do another show. And it's the other Josh Cohen. But before we talk about what I thought about the show, I just want to take this time to thank Michael Maneric for giving me and other students from the Institute for American Musical Theater tickets to see the show. It was a treat, it was exciting. Yeah, it was great. We were there to give hype. I guess Maneric knew somebody from the cast or the production at least. I think from the production. I think the producer maybe or something. But anyway, so I guess they were recording that night for some special, I think it's for like Netflix or YouTube or it's for something. The story plot was really sweet. Um, let me actually first explain to you what the plot's about. Well, it's about a guy named Josh Cohen as you see on the playbill. Josh Cohen gets robbed in the beginning. Like, before the show even starts, there's this burglar that just steals everything. And then he comes home and he's like screwed and it was like days over Valentine's Day. So not only that he's single and lonely, He's having the worst luck of his life. Then all of a sudden he goes to the mail and he notices that there's a blank piece of paper wrapped around this check for $56,000. There was this lady named Irma Cohen. So he's thinking that it was a relative, but he doesn't even know who that is. So he calls his family and tries to figure out if he should deposit the check or not. His whole family tells him that he should, but he has some like instincts as like maybe I shouldn't and so he calls this Irma and she realizes that she has written the wrong address because she meant to give that check to her son who is also named Josh Cohen. I think the one thing that I should also mention before I continue on with the plot there's Josh Cohen like the year after him that is narrating his life and playing guitar at the same time. I think I kind of forgot to mention that. He wants to do the right thing, like, you know, this was actually meant for him, I should probably send it to him. And so now he's like having the worst luck and then he has the best luck of his life because he was about to deposit this check and now he has to send it to another Josh Cohen that was meant for him. And I'm just gonna stop there because I don't want to spoil the entire show. All you need to know is that the show was hilarious! This show, like, they brought in some funny lines, they brought Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory references. The story plot was amazing, the ending was just so cute. The cast itself, I was blown away on the multi-talented seven-person cast they had. Literally, I thought, like, the girl was just gonna be in the drums the entire 90 minutes of the show. But no, she went from like playing the drums to playing the piano to playing the guitar to playing an acting role and then another acting role and back on the drums, tambourine. Like she was, and then like she's not the only one, but like another guy's on the piano and then like this other dude is like on the p keyboard thing and then like someone else is like on the drum set and then someone else is playing guitar. You have two to three guitars at the same time. Like, Everybody was playing an instrument and they were playing like a, a violin and the entire cast was the ensemble. The entire cast was the entire orchestra. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they directed it that fluidly. My head hurts from thinking about how epic it was. And I'm so mad that they have to close on April 7th. Yeah, that's right. They close on April 7th. I wish this show would be running longer. I don't want anybody to miss out on this experience. The fact that the seven person cast, the way how they performed it, the humor, the, the acting, the, the singing, the songs, and the music, the instruments, like everything. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend to see the show. All right, so before I leave, make sure you guys subscribe to Chicolade Productions, give this video a like, and let me know down in the comments below what you thought about the other Josh Cohen show. And until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out.